The social networking site is in the process of notifying users if their information was taken without their consent. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon joins us now with how you can protect your digital footprint. Julie? Wendy, we spoke with a security expert tonight. He said you should never post anything on Facebook that you wouldn't want on the front page of a newspaper. Facebook estimates information of 87 million people may have been improperly shared with Cambridge Analytica. Facebook said that starting today, users would find out if their data had been compromised. But tonight, Facebook users we spoke with say they are still waiting. Did you receive any message on your Facebook profile? No, I haven't gotten anything like that at all. The company announced the notice would be at the top of users' Facebook feed, alerting them to the apps they use and what data had been shared with those apps. I don't think um, there's any surprise there. I don't think it's right either, but you know. It's what you sign up for. Stu Showerman is founder and CEO of No Before, an anti-hacking firm based in Clearwater. He says Facebook made a mistake. It was an app that was looking very innocuous, very innocent, nothing special. But the moment people started to interface with that app, it was able to scan all their friends. He says users should think twice about what goes on Facebook. Never post your phone number. He even cautions parents about sharing photos of their children. There's nothing that you can do today except for not share as much as you normally would or just delete your whole Facebook profile and say bye bye Facebook. And we reached out to Facebook tonight. A spokesperson said by the end of the week, all users should have a message at the top of their Facebook feed. You'll be able to view it on your mobile device as well as your desktop. Jameson, back to you.